Create a campaign. You can create a campaign in the AdBridge system in two bold steps. In order to start, click Create Campaign in the main menu. Complete campaign name. The name has to be unique within your account. This is a mandatory field. Group. You can choose a previously created campaign group from the drop down list or create a new one. In order to do it, click plus to the right of this field, insert the group name and click apply. The next field is traffic source. Choose a traffic source from the drop down list created before. The field's tracking ID and S2S passback are completed automatically or you can choose custom. In this case, you complete tracking ID manually. In the field domain, choose a redirect domain through which all campaign traffic will be forwarded. By default, upon registration, you will need a system average subdomain which you can use in your campaigns. But we recommend to use it only for testing and get a separate domain. You can add more domains to your account in the domain section in the main menu. The next setting is campaign type. Two options are available, pass and flow. Pass, a target setting that is used only for one campaign. Flow, this is a ready to use target setting that can be applied in the several campaigns at the same time. Now let's move on to advanced settings. The field cost model. You need to select the cost model of payment for traffic and insert the cost value. The following cost models are available. CPV, cost per one visit on the landing page. CPA, cost per action. CPM, cost per 1000 banner impressions and ref share. If you want to hide the details of your traffic source and freelanders, then activate the field hide referer. And in the field below, choose the domain for hide referer. The next fields are proxy detection and bot filter. If you need to track users who use proxy VPN VPS, track a filter bot traffic, then activate the appropriate field. These fields are available in the campaign if the bot filter and proxy detection are activated in the section bot filter. In order to hide your funnels and pre-landing from advertisers or managers of affiliate network, activate the field hide funnel and insert the fallback URL. Let's move on to the S2S passback URL. This field is designed for setting a passback link of your traffic source if such functionality is provided on its site. This feature is used in case you need to transmit conversions and any other information from the tracker to the traffic source. If the traffic source has been chosen above, this field is completed automatically. The next setting is third-party GS pixel. This field is designed to set up a GS tracking pixel of your traffic source if this function is provided from its site, for example, Facebook or AdWords. This feature is used in case you need to pass conversions from a tracker to the traffic source. Please note, if you use a GS pixel to pass conversions to the traffic source, then you need to set up our iframe pixel at the site of the offer. Then setting of the campaign tracking ID. Tracking ID is a parameter of your traffic source that passes the unique click ID to this traffic source site. If you set up a passback, this field is mandatory. For each setting, insert the name of the parameter that will appear in the campaign and its value. Here we indicate the macro taken from the traffic source which will pass the unique click ID. The field cost. This parameter is used to the dynamic value of cost per each click. This value will be used for the calculation of your cost. Not all traffic sources support this function. Then, token setting. For each token, you need to set up the field name, the name of the token that will be displayed in the campaign URL, and the field value. We indicate macros in these fields taken from the traffic source for passing different parameters in the URL. Having indicated tokens, we need to choose their type. There are two of them, primary and additional. You can add six primary tokens. They will be displayed in the AdSpray statistics. You can create a limited number of additional tokens. They won't be read in the statistics, but there is a possibility to pass them to the site of the offer. When the previously created traffic source is added to the campaign, then all necessary fields, like in our case, will be completed. At the bottom of the page, you can see a unique URL assigned to this campaign. Save the settings and go to step two.
at this step two, you set up rules and paths to distribute traffic. If the campaign type is flow, then in the drop down list, you can choose previously created flows that will be applied to the campaign. Now we are looking into the type of campaign paths where we need to adjust settings at the second stage of campaign. Let's go step by step. Default rule. Traffic to this rule follows a residual principle. If traffic attributes do not match any of the rules with certain conditions, then the traffic will be forwarded to default rule. Rules with specific conditions are configured below. It's enough to configure the default rule as long as you do not need to distribute traffic. You can configure up to 100 passes for a split test inside default rule. You can add landings and offers to a pass. We will get back to it later in this video. If you have proxy tracking turned on in your account, you need to configure the proxy rule. The entire proxy, VPN, VPS traffic will be directed to this rule. You can also create the split tests inside this rule. Let's move on. To add a rule to a certain condition, click on Create Rule. First of all, select the condition, for example, OS, country, etc., in the drop down list. You can add several conditions. We move on to the paths. These are the elements of the campaign the traffic is directed to direct link plus offer, landing page plus offer, or split test of such elements. Direct link checkbox. If checked, the user will be redirected right to the offer link. Do you want to know what works better? A direct link to an offer or a jump landing page? Tick direct link box and add landing page as well. When clicking on the Add LP button, a pop-up appears. You can choose a landing page or several of them you would like to add to this distribution pass. Or several of them you would like to add to this distribution pass. For the convenience of finding the required landing page, the list can be sorted by the filters shown at the top. Choose Landing Page and click Add and Close. After adding the landing page, we see several pr parameters. Landing page ID, name, status, active or inactive. This feature allows you to deactivate the landing pages without removing them from the flow. Share is the percentage of traffic distribution between the elements of the pass. Actions. You can view the landing page or delete it from the pass. Let's move on to the offers. When you hover over the button Offer, a drop-down list will appear. You can create a new offer or select an existing one. Click Select and find the one you need in the list. Use filters to speed up this process. After selecting one or more of the offers, click the Add and Close button. Click Create a new offer if you haven't created any. Fill in the settings fields and click Save. The offer is added to the pass as well as displayed in Manage Offers section. What are the actions with rules and paths? You can activate or deactivate the passes. If you need to configure percentage distribution, Please determine the traffic share for each pass. Also, paths can be renamed, copied, deleted, and auto-optimization can be activated. We will puzzle out auto-optimization in a certain video. There are similar actions for rules, activate, deactivate, rename, copy, delete, move to the selected position is available for the rules as well. Copy and activate auto-optimization of passes are the only available options for the default rule and proxy rule. After all settings have been adjusted, click Done. You will see a pop-up with campaign URLs and tracking pixels. It's the end of campaign creation. All created campaigns will be displayed in the Manage Campaigns section.